CATL's biggest customer worldwide by a mile, it's not even close, is Tesla. If CATL lost Tesla as a customer, it would lose literally billions of dollars every year. CATL has just unveiled a pretty spectacular product. There's a very high likelihood that at some point in the future, Tesla will use this product in its future electric cars, especially when you consider the fact that CATL has set up a factory just for Tesla around three kilometers down the road that provides Tesla with many products, including battery packs going into its current electric cars. Car manufacturers, legacy automakers, General Motors, Volkswagen Group, Toyota, etc., all seem to struggle with making good electric skateboards, meaning the chassis, the motors, the battery pack, they seem to struggle with making really good versions of that. I mean, the MEB platform that the Volkswagen Group use, it's heavy, it's old school, it takes a lot of time and money to produce. So CATL, the world's biggest battery manufacturer, has come along and made its own. And it really does put legacy automakers to shame. What is most likely to happen? Within the next few years, some of the biggest companies in the world will simply realize that CATL have done a better job of it and just order the skateboard from them. They'll then put the body shell on top of the car and essentially you'll be driving around a CATL car. You just won't know it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And, um, it's been a pretty crazy week for Tesla stuff, Cybertruck stuff. I've got to admit, I have been kind of excited seeing some of the inventions that have gone into the engineering behind the Cybertruck. Seeing the actual production has been incredible. But it is an interesting juxtaposition here because the way Tesla's made the Cybertruck's very bespoke. It's very individual for that one platform. It's got its own individual skateboard. CATL is making a skateboard. The idea here is to make a car platform for everyone, not just for one product like the Cybertruck, which is awesome, but it's very individualized. The CATL skateboard can be adjusted. You can change it. You can adjust the, the length of it, for example, but it is essentially a one size fits all product. It's affordable and has absolutely incredible range. It's been tested using a, another automaker's electric car, which is a similar size to a Tesla Model 3, and it gets 621 miles of range. 621 miles of range, which is obviously well over a thousand kilometers. Now, CATL say that's real world testing, not some sort of made up manufactured, I, you know, possibility, but real world. The battery pack size is said to be around 90 kilowatt hours. So about just a tiny bit smaller battery pack than what's in the Tesla Model S and the Tesla Model X long range, meaning it's big battery, but not massive. To get this kind of range from the battery pack that size, well, this skateboard chassis has to have incredible efficiency and it really does. I mean, here's the thing, it can replenish its battery. 186 miles you can add in charge or 300 kilometers in five minutes you know you need the right charges of course that's the problem here but eventually they will exist but five minutes to get 300 kilometers of range this is CATL this is not some mythical company promising something that will never happen it's a real deal it's here now today incredible consumption therefore is 10.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, meaning this is the most efficient vehicle in the history of electric cars in terms of actual decent cars where you can actually sit in them, not some sort of weird production car that only one person can sit in, but a real car that real people can sit in. It's the most efficient EV platform ever made, and it's not even close. CATL says it achieved 620 miles of range or 1,000 kilometers, just over 1,000. This was reduced by 30% though in temperatures at minus seven degrees Celsius. That means it can still do 435 miles of range or 700 kilometers in minus seven degrees Celsius. So 19 Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually an amazing result. EVs often, well, they all suffer range degradation when it's 
that cold. That's obviously much colder than most people live in. CATL here are really giving us a good idea that their EVs, even when it's cold, will get a lot of range. These results were shared by CATL's chief scientist during his talk at a summit on the 30th of November, and he said the winter testing took place in Turpan. CATL's new skateboard chassis uses a cell to chassis technology. So it's a structural battery pack, essentially. In China, for some reason, they're calling it cell to chassis. But yeah, it's essentially a structural battery pack. And the platform integrates the electric motors, the battery pack, a high and low voltage systems, 12 volt, I believe, steering and brakes, reducing production costs massively and development times. And it's very, very likely that what will happen in the future five years from now, 10 years from now, it doesn't matter, but it's, a, it's really probably inevitable. Manufacturers will simply place orders. In the past, they've done this as well. Volkswagen Group have done this. Lots of car makers, even Toyota's done this. They order vehicles and then companies will manufacture them. Companies like contract manufacturers like Magna Steer. Instead of a big Magna Steer though, probably will be companies like CATL and BYD are manufacturing the skateboard chassis, and then you'll simply plop the rest of the car on top. Much like what Toyota did with the BZ3 in China. Now, CATL say is a range of different body styles. You can certainly, this platform can be adapted to different types of cars. And they're not interested, they say, in rolling out a self-branded EV. So don't expect to see any EVs called CATL brand anytime soon. They say though, they plan on sharing their technology with other companies as part of multiple partnerships. They want to partner up, they want to have joint venture partnerships with companies where they will own a certain percentage of that company. The first automaker that will use this platform in a production model will be from Hozon Auto in China. Hozon Auto, uh, one of the really relatively fast growing EV manufacturers, they're pretty well known in China as well. This was following an agreement that they signed in January 2023. Hoson and CATL announced the development of a new CIIC, so that's what the platform's called, CIIC, based electric car, which is expected to enter production in the third quarter of next year. So I expect to see CATL, pretty much CATL EVs, with over a thousand kilometers of range that will be on sale in around 12 months time, or maybe even less than that. This is another way that you're gonna see a situation happen where automakers will say your car is possibly Japanese or German, but ultimately CATL, very good chance in the future, they'll be building the skateboards for companies like, like the brands that are made in those countries from Toyota, etc. And then those brands won't tell you, they'll just put the body shell on top and it'll basically look like a BMW or look like whatever car you're buying. But really the motors, the chassis, the platform, the software will be CATL. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.